What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, I don't even know if this is an indie game at this point. What even is it that I do on the internet anymore? I don't know. Oh, uh, we've got access. I'm gonna pause the game real fast, okay? Uh, we can apparently look at a Warlord map here. So, we're playing Stronghold Warlords. I've gotten access... Apparently I've gotten a message from Kim Shi Huang. No amount of walls will protect you from my wrath, Lao Ai. You will rule the day you defy me. Okay. So anyways, we've got access to Stronghold Warlords. It's a demo, it's got a hot drop, so I didn't really know how to enter on into the game in a satisfying way. But here we are. Uh, Stronghold is one of those games that I always kind of like, I really want to love Stronghold, but the games that they keep putting out are just like not up to par and they're not quite ready. I'm hoping they got it right this time because I love games like Kingdoms and Castles that allow me to build my own castles and protect from sieges and stuff like that. I, I do think that that's crazy fun. And so anyways, these are my lands down here. Apparently this is the Ox Warlord. I can use him to send me resources. These are the enemy lands right here, and we have the Dragon Warlord on this side. We're going to need his rocket launchers in order to get into the enemy's city. All right, good to know. Apparently, I've got some soldiers down here. I've got access to what look like a number of Imperial crossbowmen. Oh, I like how they break out little battle standards and stuff when they're moving around. That's pretty sweet. And then I've got these guys over here. I've got some archers, and I've got some axemen. Give me the axemen. I'm going to put them out front real fast. And then we've got our auxil- Oh my god, they're attacking me. I'm about to get murdered. Yeah, maybe like shoot them to death or something. It's probably a really good idea. Yeah, exactly. Just wipe them out real fast. So the Imperial Crossbowmen, they're slow moving and they fight with- Oh, we've got Imperial Warriors. Can I double click on them to select all the Imperial Warriors? Ah, okay. So let's put the Imperial Warriors right there. We'll put the Axemen right behind them. And then we've got crossbowmen. I'm going to take these crossbowmen right here. We're going to put them up on that side. And then I'm going to have bowmen over here. Are there multiple access points to my base? There are. There's totally multiple access points to my base. So this is the neutral dude right here that we've got to convince to, like, love us. We've got to be like, please love me, senpai. All right, so we've got a, we need a consulate. All right, so we can have a wood camp right here. Let's do a wood camp. Do I have a wood camp? Do I have one of these? It looks like I have several of them up here. So I think they're going out, they're like chopping trees and stuff, and then they're bringing it back to the stockpile. As of right now, it looks like we've got... Is this like my resource? Oh, there they are, right there. Okay. So we've got ourselves access to something right there. I don't know what that is. These don't have tooltips, but that looks like wood, that looks like stone, maybe iron right there, and then that might be gunpowder or something. I'm not super sure. We've got diplomacy. What happens if I go over here? I can demand obedience. With strength and fortitude, Ox provides benefits to heavy labor of gathering resources. Let's see here. We can request a shipment of stone or we can request shipments of wood. Let's go with shipments of stone, I guess. Sounds good. And I guess I can upgrade my warlord over time too once I have enough of these little crane coin things. All right. Uh, what other stuff can I build? So we've got a silkworm farm. Okay, do I have those? What do I have around here? Let's just look. We've got a Fletcher's workshop. We have an axe workshop. We have a fine house right there. Several huts, a superior house. We already have... Oh, it's rice. Gotcha. Okay. So we've got a granary right there where apparently I can buy. Okay. So I can use my money to buy more stuff. We've got a vegetable field right here, and he's waiting for vegetables to grow. We also have a southern access to our base, but it looks like it goes to one of the other neutral guys as well. I don't know how we get more diplomatic points. I assume that that's the point of the consulate. So we've got town buildings here. We've got a market and a con... Yeah, let's do a consulate. Uh, we'll just put that right there in the middle. Oh, it automatically builds. All right. Well, that's good to know. And so apparently this will generate 12 points per minute. So every five seconds, we're going to get diplomatic points. All right. Sounds good. Sounds like something that we can get moving. Stronghold always was like a really rapid fire game. What does the market do for me? Do I have one of these? Let's put a market right behind the consulate and just kind of see what it does. Oh, the market is the thing that I think I already had. Isn't there a market around here somewhere? Wasn't I able to buy stuff at one of these? A swordsmith workshop. Okay, we have an armory right there. Oh, I can buy weapons. Gotcha. All right, so I have to have individual weapons. Well, what about recruiting units? So I have fear factor and I have castle defenses. So I can get water pots. We can build some walls. So we got stone curtain walls right here. I think that's probably a good idea. Can I get like a gate or something like that? 
let's do a gate first. I'm going to do, yeah, let's do a large, I don't know if I need a large gatehouse. That might be a bit much. Uh, can I do the little gatehouse, though? I can do a little gatehouse, like, right there. Oh, dude, I believe they are coming in hot right now. Yeah, everybody out here. Start, start hitting them with some arrows and things. All right. Well, it looks like we're being somewhat victorious. Their shock troops are taking, like, lots and lots of damage, so keep pushing, I guess. They've got horse archers. I don't know if we can outrun those. It looks like my normal archers are, like, laying them down, though. Those units are super slow, but it looks like they can tank a pretty decent amount of damage. Oh, they're firing at me from a guard tower right there. Okay. All right, everybody fall back. I don't want to get hit by the guard tower no more. I don't want to get hit by guard towers no more. All right, so we'll go and build a gatehouse like right there. That looks good. And then I'm going to take a... Yeah, just put in the put in the curtain walls. Protect me. We've got a small tower and a medium tower. Let's put in a medium tower like right there. That looks pretty good to me. Do I like garrison inside of here or do these like fire on their own? Oh, they fire on their own. Good. Well, you go back inside then. I don't want to waste my soldiers. I would prefer not to anyways. Uh, do I need, like, a barracks or anything? So we've got a barracks right there. It's going to cost me a little bit more stone. Let's go ahead. I'm going to build my barracks real fast. As far as mining stone goes, can I get a... It looks like they actually, for the purposes of this demo, it looks like they didn't give me access to any way to get stone aside from the consulate. So I'm going to request... Yeah, go ahead and give me stone shipments, I guess. That sounds good. And then this guy down here will give me rocket launchers. Was that what they were saying? So, like, this dude down here, for 80, I can demand obedience. So he will periodically send me rocket launchers. With friends like that, man, with friends like that just periodically sending me rocket launchers, what do we have to worry about? I'm not that concerned. Uh, do I have to close the gatehouse or anything else like that? It's kind of, like, wide open right now, and that concerns me. I don't, I don't like that very much. Uh, we can get Spear Tribesmen, we've got Imperial Warriors, we've got Blowpipe Tribesmen, we've got Auxiliary Axemen, we've got Imperial Crossbowmen, who apparently require armor, and they also require tools, it looks like. We have Military Archers. I do like how everything just quick builds, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let me get a few more Axemen as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna like... Oh, I am? Well, that feels bad. Uh, where was that building that let me purchase rice and stuff? There it was. Yeah, just buy a little bit of rice right there. I think we're making good enough money right now. Like, maybe adding houses would help out. We've got hovels, shacks, and huts. Let's go for some houses. Let's do that. I'll put one in right there, like one in right there. Yeah, just make an awful, just like spaghetti pile over there of stuff. I assume that having population is how we end up getting more money. That would be my estimate. I probably actually shouldn't dither. I should probably make another consulate too the second I have enough money. Looks like they're just dogpiled on my door. Nah, don't worry about it, bro. Oh, that guy's from the other faction. What a god. He's coming out here to fight. Alright. I wonder if the little towers have, like, more... The, so we've got large, medium, and small. I wonder what a large tower does. I'd like to see... So what I would like to see from the towers is it should actually show you, like, their firing radius. Like, where they can shoot to. I, I think that would be really, really helpful on deployment. So you can figure out, like, where all of your lines of fire are coming together. Uh, when is this guy going to periodically send me rocket launchers? Rocket launcher. Oh, right there. He's sending me the rocket launcher right there. What a rocket guy. What a bro. This is why we're best friends right here. Uh, so I can get basic siege armies right there. 
I can also upgrade these warlords. Alright, I'll bring him over here. Does he have some kind of, like, focused fire that I can do? Yeah, I can tell him to attack ground. Okay. How far does he fire, I wonder? Oh, he damages himself every time he fires. Okay, so he destroys himself. Gotcha. My towers don't seem to be very helpful right now. I feel like their tower got a lot more mileage than my tower got. Maybe I can destroy some of these walls over here and they'll be able to fire. Maybe that's what it does. Oh, I can't do building because the enemy's too close. Well, they destroyed my gatehouse, but they're really, really not going to like what they find once they get in. As you can see, I have been working on my army. Do you like it? Do you like what you see from my army? The enemy is too close. Oh, that horse guy over there. Kind of sucks that my towers aren't shooting that guy. It's got to be the walls that are causing the problem or something. See, like Stronghold. There's always weird little things with Stronghold. I do like how they march in formation, though. That's pretty cool. Like, they just auto-move into a formation. Although, if the enemy has rocket launchers, I could see that being super annoying, too. I could see that becoming a major, major problem if the enemy ever develops rocket launchers. There we go. I need you to go away. So that I can fiddle with these walls. How is the enemy too close to that wall right there? What enemy am I magically not seeing right there that is too close to that wall? Hmm. Yeah, put the gatehouse right there. Oh, apparently I can put my little dudes on the walls. That's kind of cool. Oh, dude, they just went around my wall. What a jerk. Well, they're being run into my enemy's territory now. So do I have to, like, put these guys in here, maybe? Hey, stop doing what you're doing right now. I find it to be obnoxious. Quit it. You, on the horse. Stop that. Stop that right now. How dare you wage war against me? How dare you? How dare you? All right, so... Let's try this instead, right? I put the wall out to there. Oh. Do you connect the towers? Oh, it looks like you connect the towers. Yeah, put some stairs right there. All you guys, archers, on the walls. There we go. We figured it out. We're basically like gods. Nice, dude. My walls are defended now. That makes me happy. I like having defended walls. Apparently, we have to put archers inside these towers. That was the thing that I was failing to realize. And in order to do that, they need to have access to the towers via the curtain wall. Okay, good. We figured it out. Uh, those can go then. We don't need those. We are officially defended now. So we don't really have to worry about it. When they come back across the river, they are going to get shot to pieces. It's going to be a terrible, terrible day for them. So, we can assemble crossbows. How many crossbows and stuff do I have right now? If I go back to the barracks, do I have more crossbows? Yeah, dude, more archers! Yup. I want my walls not just defended. I want them hella defended. Alright, you guys go get up on the walls right now. Just make like a very, very prickly porcupine defense over here that the enemy cannot defeat us with. Uh, how much of this do I have? Let me get... I'm going to upgrade him to level 2. I have no idea what that does. I assume that it speeds up the rate at which he sends me uh, super sexy rocket launchers. This guy is apparently level 3, so now we can request iron whenever we need it. I don't know if we need the iron right this second, but I feel pretty well defended right now. I don't feel that scared for my survival. Uh, let me get some crossbowmen. Yeah, let me just get, like, all of those. I'm a little bit low on gold, and I'm a little bit low on, like, rice. But I think we're going to be okay. Eh, you guys are having a terrible day. Get wrecked, nerds. 
Yeah, I have fun dying in my water supply because I didn't think this plan through very properly. Man, it makes their range pretty considerable, too. Those things have, like, nasty range. I think we're going to have to use the rocket launcher to, like, bust holes in all this. Is my thinking. Where do you need the fireworks? Careful, this thing's loaded. Oh, they're all piling up over here. I've got several of them. Oh my god, how many of these do I have? I have many of them, apparently, is the answer to that question. Okay, so like I want to destroy both of these defenses right here, and I want to get in here and fight this guy. I think we have enough of these dudes where I can actually like move my army on out. We've got 31 archers right now. At the risk of leaving myself somewhat undefended, I'm going to sally out, and we're going to see if maybe... Just maybe we can make a ruckus over here. Uh, what I would like to do is send them up there to attack that. Bring a rocket launcher with you. Yeah, like, see if you can fire a rocket at that thing. See if that helps. Like, I can't imagine it's going to make the situation worse. So, like, we'll give it a go, and if I end up getting butchered out here on the battlefield, then I suppose that's just the way life goes. But, I gotta try something here. Basically, I'm just making cover for the rocket launcher. We are taking a bit of a pummeling, though. Oh, it'll fire from right there? Nice! Well, that appears to have dealt damage, and if I can fire it from all the way back here, like... Yeah, just move it over to there, and you guys get back up on the walls. Like, I didn't realize I could just pelt them from, like, the backfield like this. Like, that's exactly what I want to do. I've lost nine archers. This feels terrible. Someone's going to have to inform the families. Archers... Get back up on the walls, please. And then, like, crossbowmen. I don't know. Get up in the tower or something. Do whatever you want. Get a high vantage point and just fire stuff at the enemy. Uh, you, if you guys want to be up there, I won't be against it. I totally believe in your right to be on top of a tower with deadly weaponry just doing your thing. I'm glad we figured out the wall thing. I wish they gave you a little bit more space to build on so that you could do more cool stuff. Like, I would love to actually make castles that are surrounded on all sides and whatnot, but... Crossbowman, what are you doing, man? Please stop. Uh, fire this thing at, like... Where do you need the fireworks? Yeah, that's what you get, jerk. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your busted-ass tower. Enjoy it, courtesy of Splattercat. Enjoy. Enjoy your busted tower. Uh, bring these guys out here, and I'm going to fire rockets at that thing right there. I'm going to see if we can get rid of the large tower. I don't know what that means right there. Apparently it means something, but I'm not super privy to what it means. I think we might need another rice farm, dude. I feel like we don't have enough rice. Let me see if I can... Can I do another rice field out here? Yeah, man. Give me some... Give me some... Give me a couple more rice patties out here. That's what Splatty needs in his life. Just like a couple more rice patties. Careful. This thing's loaded. Engulf them. Oh no. Oh no. Protect the rocket launchers. Kill them. Yeah, as soon as you're ready, just fire. Don't worry about the damage or anything else. Just fire. I like how they wait in line and they actually fire in sequence. That's really, really nice. Yeah! There we go. Knocked out their gatehouse. Mm-hmm. All the way through your walls right now. What are you going to do, Chief? What are you going to do? You going to try to hit me back? You can't. 
I'm still behind walls, and I've got loads of archers. Look at your HP right now. Look at your HP right now. Look at what is happening to you. Understand that I am the superior Chinese warlord. Just understand that. You have nothing to fight me with. I'm basically like a, I'm, I'm basically a god out here. Look at my character. Look at my character right now. Look at my hat. How does it stay on my head? Nobody knows. It just does because I'm that talented. Where do you need the fireworks? Oh look, another rocket launcher. Easy there. Fly the crow. This man's sending me far more rocket launchers than I actively need, I think. This building is currently functioning, Highness. Good. Uh, because my people are starving and we need more food. Because I'm really, really bad at economic management. Like, I'm trying my best to economically manage in an intelligent way, but it has not been easy. We are almost out of rice, Highness. Here, let me spend some money to make sure you all don't starve, because I am a kind and generous lord. I'm kind of bummed out that I don't have horsemen. I wish that I had horsemen like they had horsemen. Like, I'm, I'm jealous of their, of their horse mannery. Yeah, just fire it at the towers. We'll just wipe out all this stuff. We'll get through all these walls, and then we'll push on in, and we will wipe them out. Fly the crow. Yep, do what you gotta do. It's okay. You can get shot fire at with arrows. You're you're a non-essential piece of personnel. So, like, hey, you know. I do like the deformative damage on the walls. Like, I like how it knocks chunks out of them, and then they slowly degrade until there's holes. It's pretty cool. Like, I, I like that little feature. All right, we should be recovering on food shortly, I think. We aren't producing... So we've got a artillator's workshop, assembling crossbows, making a sword, collecting wood from stockpiles, so the Fletcher's shop, the axe workshop. Really, all that I want to build is I want to make axemen, who apparently make axes, or need axes, so like another axe workshop would probably be a really good idea. Um, I don't see an axe workshop. There we go. Siege camp, military academy. What does the military academy do? <coughs> Quickly, chat. Let's find out. The military academy apparently gives me access to fire lancers. I have no clue what a fire lancer is or what a fire lancer does could really rocket be anything in all honesty uh yeah rocket launcher Who's go hit that tower rocket? again actually it looks like they moved their dude I off of it go launch one at that right there i want to walk into this and i want to take as little damage as possible when i assault them but i think we're more or less safe right now like i think we're looking like we're in pretty good shape like food is recovered everything's looking decent i could probably use an iron shipment from one of my neighbors Oh, I can tell them just to attack? Nice. Can I tell them to do that multiple times? Rocket oh, cool. So he'll send out little skirmishers or whatever just to like mess with the enemy for me. Nice. Okay. Well, I'll give you uh I'll give you some support right here via rocket launcher. I think we've killed a number of them off the walls without too many problems. But it looks like the Ox Clan is actually going to be pretty helpful. Where do you need the fireworks? We are under attack. It's okay. As soon as you got the range, Fly hit that thing. Throw. Rocket launcher on the way. I don't know if he's got line of sight from right there. I think he's getting confused. On the plus side, the siege warriors down here tried. Fire the rocket. Loose the rocket. Come on. Hmm. He appears to be very, very confused about what fire the rocket means. The gun rocket launcher on the way. 
No, not my rocket launcher. Rocket launcher you leave my rocket launcher alone. Rocket launcher on the way. No, that rocket launcher was my friend, you bastards. That rocket launcher was my friend. All right, well, I mean, his little push right there seems to have drawn some of the defenders off the walls, and he's definitely killed a couple of them. Like, there were a lot more units kind of, like, dithering around this area, so, like, I'll take it. It's not, like, a perfect situation, but it's something. Eh, maybe we'll go with... Blowpipe Tribesman, huh? Yeah, maybe just get some tribesmen. Like, something to, like, blunt the attack, basically. Just, like, some weak units for the front. We got another rocket launcher right there, so that's okay. Yeah, dude, let's go in for an attack. I haven't done anything. We're almost out of time in the episode anyway, so let's go for an attack. Why not? We'll take all of these guys. We will see what happens. You guys go down here and attack him. I want the rocket launcher. Yeah, the rocket launcher should be, like, right here. And then we're going to fire it at that tower right there. Uh, can I send another siege? Yeah, give me another Give me another siege army, too. There you go. Wipe them out. All right, let's take all these dudes back up in here. He should be sending reinforcements, so we're getting a couple of units for free right there. We'll bring this down to here. We'll launch it at that wall right there. Maybe I should have told him to bring a siege army. That might have been smarter if I had had him bring in, like, a whole bunch of rocket launchers. I think this probably would have gone better. All right, you guys go over to here. I wish we could, like, double time or something. All right, go tear down that tower. Oh, really? So we're just actually trying to sap this right now. Yeah, that's probably not good. We should probably just keep fighting then. Uh, bring the rocket launcher up here. And we'll launch it at this gatehouse right here. Uh, pull them back for a second. Pull them back until the rocket launcher gets here. Rocket launcher at your command. Fired at the gatehouse, please. Well, that didn't accomplish what I wanted it to accomplish. Apparently, sapping is really difficult in this game, and it takes a lot of effort. All right, so as it turns out, getting through castle walls is harder than Splatty expected. Uh, you guys go get back up on the walls... You guys can, like, go get back up on the walls, maybe. Like, defend our stuff. It was a successful attack, all right? Our ally died horribly, but we didn't. Like, we managed to survive it. My name is Splattercat. This is Stronghold Warlords. I kind of wish that in the demo they had allowed you to build your settlement up from, like, the ground up, learning what each building does. But we figured it out with time. It just took us, you know, a little bit more effort to figure out. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games so you don't have to. Appreciate you stopping on in. Stronghold Warlords is what we were checking out today. Uh, it looks promising. I'll say that about it. I mean, the last couple Stronghold games have all been really, really rough. And this seems to be leaning back into kind of the RTS mechanics that made the original one successful way back in the day. And so, like, it, it seems promising. That's all I can really say about it for right now. Is that it seems promising, but I'm going to want to, like, play like a full campaign, you know what I mean? Before I can give you like, the hard word on whether or not it's something you want to add to your collection. For now, this is basically just kind of like a demo that they sent over for us to show off on the channel. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. This probably wasn't an indie game, but I appreciate you being here anyways. Aside from that, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and you want to continue seeing me siege out whoever this guy is. Uh, you can also check out my Discord and also my Twitch stream down below in the description. I'll have something hot and fresh for you off the indie skillet tomorrow. How do you doing? Take care, everybody. It's been fun.